Thousands of years ago, in the times of the Jewish temple, the high priest would have entered the Holy of Holies just once a year on Yom Kippur. It was a terrifying experience and an awesome privilege to stand before God for the people. Those outside knew he was still alive because he had bells sewn on the hem of his garment. Archaeologists in Jerusalem have discovered a rare gold bell believed to be part of a priestly garment in the time of Jesus. Take a look. That's the sound of a 2,000-year-old tiny gold bell. And the man that was walking with that bell on his coat, everyone was here when he coming, you know, it's a small noise, you know, it's not a big noise, you know, just for, to give some respect to this man. Archaeologists uncovered the bell while excavating an ancient drainage channel. It begins at the Pool of Siloam and continues underground to an area near the western wall called Robinson's Arch. That's where Jewish worshipers would have entered the Temple Mount in the time of Jesus. And this bell we found under the main street of Jerusalem from the Second Temple period. The bell has a tiny loop at the top. It would have been attached to the garment of a wealthy person. The Bible describes the robe of Aaron the high priest saying, Upon its hem you shall make pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet all around its hem, and bells of gold between them all around. Head archaeologist Eli Shukrun says there's no way to know for sure if the bell came from a priestly garment. It could be anyone, but I think with, with the high position in, in Jerusalem from the Second Temple period. He believes the bell fell off the man's garment and into the drainage channel. After 2,000 years, we were walking, walking very hard in the tunnels of Jerusalem. And after 2,000 years, we found that bell in, in, in the tunnel. Archaeologists hope to open the channel tunnel to the public later this summer. Shukran says discoveries like the little golden bell shed light on the nature of Jerusalem in Second Temple times.